Hi, I'm Moody, feeling moody. It's time for a moon message. Today's moon is the waxing gibbous moon under the astrological sign of Aquarius. Ah, had to take a cup of, a sip of coffee. This reading is for Sag. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, Sag. Holy Spirit, Angel Guides, what is the full moon message for Sagittarius? Hi, Sag. How are you? All righty, Holy Spirit. Tell me what the message is. If you're able to resonate, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave me a kiss. Leave me a comment. Okay. Sagittarius full moon energy in the September. What's going on for Sag? Tell me. Full moon is about letting go, letting God, moving on. What is the energy for Sagittarius? Ooh. Somebody's having difficulty letting you go. <laughs> I don't know. It's like, mm, dang. I don't feel good, though, about this. It's like they want to keep you. It's like um, they're doing anything and everything to keep you too much. Yeah, because they see you um, impregnated. They see you having the ability to get whatever you want. They see you moving on. They see you as the empress. Oh, Lord. They don't want you to go. <laughs> they are holding on for dear life, as a matter of fact. But it's a very possessive um, type of energy. Yeah, that's not good. You're not talking to them. There's very little conversation which makes them want you even more. Maybe you pulled back your energy. You know, the Empress, yes, you pulled back your energy. Sag. You pulled back your energy because somebody won't let you go because they're very manipulative. They're manipulating energy to try and get you back they can't talk to you but they're still negatively sending you energy they're trying to block your potential your abundance they're trying to block your stability they are trying to block everything somebody is like working on you do you hear me? I said they're working on you, but not in a good way. This is in a bad way. This is manipulation control at its heightened state. This is all about somebody making a mistake. Somebody, mm, what? Yes, making a mistake when it comes to Sag, man. They are not going to be successful. I'll tell you that. You will see that very soon. As a matter of fact, they're going to be regretful. They're going to regret that they ever took this action. Because you're going to be set free. You are going to invoke your Knight of Wands energy. And there's going to be movement. You know, you always look at things from a positive perspective. Um, you're jovial, you know, you, it can't get you down. You knew this energy was there, but see, that's the Empress. The Empress always holds on to the next step, is always prepared to take the next step, is always, will do anything that they have to do, right, to change their situation around. See, they didn't know who they're messing with the Sag. I see. That's a this is a lot of negative energy though. You have the death card reverse, the magician reverse, judgment reverse, and you have the um eight of wands reverse. Yeah, clearly somebody um does not want you to be prosperous. They don't want you to be abundant. 
you know, um, they don't want you to have anything. But see, the the Empress has a direct connection to spirit, Holy Spirit, um, definitely listens to her intuition. She is given powers um, to create, to develop. That's her nature, the, her purpose. And so regardless of what's happening around you, they can't, they're not successful. <laughs> they're not only not successful, Sag, they're regretful. They're regretful. You know, they miss you. They miss you because you come with fire, energy, passion, you know, and they miss that. Their life is kind of dull without you. <laughs> I don't know. That's what Spirit just said. Their life is kind of dull without you. They miss it all because of this bad judgment. Yeah, you know, be careful, be careful. Life is about choices and that's why we need to make healthy, good choices, the right choice. You can't hold on to Sagittarius. That's the emperor of the empress, you know. You can't. You can't bring an end to them by not talking to them. You won't be successful. You know, whatever you're manifesting so intently, if it's bad, you're going to be regretful. Sagittarius is the emperor or the empress. Um, they're impregnated with abundance. You know, <laughs> they are charged with um, bringing things to life, banging on a drum and things appear. Mm. Give it up. Give it up right now. You may want to hold on to them, but very soon they're walking. They're walking with the Eight of Cups, um, realizing that they're something. They're being called. Okay, that's what it is. They're being called right out of this because I see all this negative energy. It's like entrapping them. You're watching them, though, walk away. You are, you know, you have one, two, three, major, four major arcanas here. Three of them are reverse. And so that's kind of like spirit taking control of that situation of the negativity because there's spiritual warfare here. And when there's spirit, spiritual warfare, spirit shows up, he shows up. So somehow he lets you know don't pay attention to what they say. Just keep walking. You know, you learned a lesson. It's like when spirit says, um, there'll be peace. There's peace. When spirit says you shouldn't be with somebody, I don't care that they don't want you to go. I don't care that they manipulate and conjure up stuff to try and keep you there. It's not going to work. You cannot hold an emperor or an empress down for long. You can't. And you know something you will regret? Not only mm, not only can't you, but you're going to regret your bad judgment, the bad actions that you took when it came. Yes, you're going to regret it. Didn't I say that? Ten of Wands, Princess of Swords. And you will have learned a very valuable lesson. That means some heavy stuff is coming down the pike. Whoever is trying to manipulate and control Sag hmm, cannot be. They can't be. I mean, Spirit's getting ready to show you that right now. Getting ready to pull uh, Sag up out of that. This Emperor, this Empress, they're walking, they're moving. Um, I don't know who's trying to hold who, but I'm telling you, the emperor or the empress is on the move. They are exiting towards the right. Their chariot is there. This is somebody who's also made a decision um, because, you know, when you make the right choice, when you make... Um, the right decision when you turn your will over to spirit and you're ready to do what your intuition is telling you, the chariot shows up, you know, when the student is ready, the teacher appears. And so spirit shows up for this entry, 
empress and pulls them right out of this situation. I don't even know how, but you cannot hold them. And immediately everything crumbles um, and there's regrets, there's shame, there's guilt. Six of Pentacles, I, woulda, coulda, shoulda, I didn't mean it. Yeah, you did, you did. Tell me about the Six of Cups. <laughs> Ooh, yes, look at that. They regret it because you're, you're blessed. You know why you're blessed? Because mm, you withstood a lot. Ten of Wands, you withstood a lot, Sagittarius. This has been going on for a long time. And no matter, it's like you never gave up faith. You had a lot of deception around you coming from different people, different angles, but you never gave up. You never gave up and you turned all of these challenges into lessons, taking the lesson and moving forward. Dang, look at how you get blessed. 1111, yeah, back then. Look at how you get blessed. Because you let go of all of this negativity and just focused on spirit. He showed up. He showed up and he blessed you. Victory. He gave you victory. That's also victory. The chariot is definitely victory in the face of your enemies. You know, they're all around you. They're watching this. They're watching you receive favor, get blessed. And and they why did I do that to Saj? Yeah, wishing, woulda, coulda, shoulda, they could do it over. You know, you are one that you're very resourceful, very inspired. You allow yourself to be led by the Holy Spirit. Your angel guides, your spirit guides always got you. You know, in the mist, when you're down, know that you're protected. You're the emperor, you're the empress. Look at all this deception around you. And look what happens. God pulls you, sends the chariot, he sends help, and they you get a you receive a blessing. Right back to your energetic, lively self, feeling good. Yes, after you just get past this. You get blessings and you feel wonderful. <laughs> Life is wonderful again, right? Yes. Can you tell me what happens after you get these people away from this energy, away from Sagittarius? Tell me what's going on in love. Because I see the Ace of Cups here. Knowing that. Sagittarius gets back to their self. Things return. You even feel balanced emotionally. They're not successful, but what is victorious is you. You, you have you you remain the empress, untouchable, continuing to give birth. Mm -hmm. Aces are new starts. You you just you know move into the future unfazed by this why because you allow the situation to unfold to unfold naturally you you let go and you let god Ooh, you let go and you let god you, this was an example of the epitome of that i don't know all the specifics but you totally just hands off it was like you let go of the wheel, you let go, you let God. And, you know, you always believed, you always felt protected. You always knew that it wouldn't be successful. You just had faith. You had faith. And you did what you were guided to do. And that's why love appears here. Tell me about this love spirit. Wow. Do you get blessed for taking the steps you were guided to take? Mm. You know, these steps could be back to someone you've known before. I'm just saying it doesn't necessarily have to be a reconciliation, but 
could involve a past love. Um, usually those are strong loves and there's some unfinished business. But you're being guided to love, somebody you've known before, okay? And this is real love. You get an ace of cups and an ace of pentacles. This, what? You already met the romantic partner you seek. This could be the one. Yeah, that's what I was feeling, 1515. That's it. <laughs> this is somebody that you've known before. Um, maybe they have a wake-up call. Uh, maybe they help you get out of this toxic situation. I don't think that you return. I know you don't return to this. Because it's totally unsuccessful. They have regrets. And, you know, spirit allows them to stew in their regrets. To really feel um, the effect of their bad judgment. And he does that by allowing them to see you receive your blessings. Oh, it was 1555 when I said that. Yeah, in their face, you get this Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles, Sag. In their face. All these people, situations, energy that try to keep you back, cause you, not allow you to be prosperous. Wow. Mm -mm. Spirit. <laughs> God was like, no, you're not doing that to Sag. Mm-mm. Yeah. Final cards. Final cards. Okay. I'm told to get a new deck. What do you want to say? Full moon energy. Spirit turns this situation right around. Right around. What is the final message for Sagittarius here? Yeah. <clears throat> mm hmm. Yeah, this is you. You stood fast through this. You allowed the situation to be handled by Holy Spirit, by Spirit. And um, that just showed your integrity. You know, that showed who you really are. And, you know, you held on to that vision and that's what allowed you to persevere and you listen to what your guides were telling you. There's somebody from the past. You started loving you. You look good. And you vibrate high when you're the empress under the Ace of Cups energy. And so somebody is attracted to that energy. Yeah, I feel like somebody. Mm -hmm. They saw you rise. I mean, your enemies see you rise too. But somebody else, the one also saw this transformation. They were looking and they took note. Look at Sag. Ooh. This started to stir things. Things start to stir. The end of September going into October, the one returns. You're guided to them. You're guided directly to them. You two have fun. You're passionate about each other. Look at him holding her. Huh? Ooh, uh-huh. One thing leads to another, and um, you're off, but you're off in a way that makes others jealous. They're watching you. Look at that. Everyone's watching. Everyone's watching you, Sag. In the face of your enemies, they want you back, child. You're not focused on that. You're paying attention to where you're headed, these blessings, and I'm going to leave it there because you know what? I would be focused on this passionate love returning because you both feel the same way. And they're returning at the time when you're receiving blessings. So they're supposed to share this abundance with you. After you being kept, remember, from mm, everything, prosperity. Somebody was trying to take everything away from you. They were unsuccessful. You're being blessed and they have to watch it. That's why they are so regretful. It's their own fault. All right. I'm going to leave it there. Let's pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth 
As it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the spirit the, and the glory forever. Amen. Sag. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment. And until the next moon phase, namaste.